Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another edition of Netflix recommendations. I did a Netflix recommendation video in July and I'm thinking I'm gonna probably do one every single month. I watch so many Netflix shows, so I just thought I'd share my monthly recommendations with you guys in case you're looking for some new shows or movies to watch. So today I'm going to be going through the top three shows and the top three movies that were on Netflix in August. I mentioned a few from my previous video in July so I'm not gonna go over those ones again. Those were the three that I thought you should look forward to in August and they ended up being really good. So if you wanna know which three of those are, make sure to check out my other video after you've watched this one. I'll link it at the end for the July recommendations, which are great movies and shows that you should check out too. But for today, I'm just gonna be going through the month of August, the best three shows and the best three movies. Let's get started. The first show I have is Glow Up. And if you haven't seen this one and you're into reality TV, you gotta check this one out. I was not a huge reality competition show person, but this one is so good. This one is a makeup competition show, but it's not your basic makeup competition show. It's not just who can do the best eyeliner, eyeshadow, things like that. It's basically like the model that these artists are using are like a canvas. Like you're supposed to make basically paintings on these people. So it's makeup to the next level. So if you're interested in makeup or you just like reality TV or you like competition shows, this one is so good and what I love about it too is that even if you're an underdog you still have a chance to redeem yourself so if you do a really bad job in one of the challenges at the end whoever's in the bottom two they get put to a challenge where they have to do something very basic so it could be like a winged eyeliner a red lip something like that and you have a short amount of time so let's say you're given five minutes to do a red lip then the two bottom two people have to do that in five minutes and they're doing it on twins so it's an equal playing field and if you're really good at doing that specific thing and you really messed up in the challenge then you can really redeem yourself this is the second season so i've seen two seasons now but i've seen in both seasons people that were kind of the underdogs able to save themselves with the final challenge so it's really a fair playing field and anybody can really win the show it's not like some of the competition shows where there's a clear favorite at the very beginning because it kind of ruins the whole show this one you're kind of constantly guessing who's gonna win so if you like competition shows and reality TV you got to check that one out okay the next show is teenage bounty hunters I would say this one is through and through a comedy obviously it has some action moments and different things that go on but overall the wit and sense of humor that's present throughout the entire show is what really makes this show great so basically there's two sisters that damage their dad's car and they need money to repair it so they team up with a bounty hunter who's been in the business doing this for years and years and basically help him do his job so they have to hunt down different people as a bounty hunter does but it's a really comical because again they're teenagers and they're doing this so it's pretty interesting so if you're looking for a really good teenage or young adult drama this one is a pretty good one to check out the last show from august that i really liked was unwell so this was a reality kind of docuseries show so if you're into docuseries you'll really like this one and basically it's about the health and wellness industry exploring different natural remedies to see if they actually work I believe in natural remedies and I do think there's a lot of things that doctors don't really talk about that can help cure different illnesses and problems that you might have. So if you're into that kind of stuff, this is a really cool show and if you're not, it's kind of interesting to see the different things that are used aside from medications to see more natural ways to kind of address problems and issues and to see if these things actually work. There were a lot of natural remedies in this series that I had never even heard of and I thought I knew quite a bit about health and wellness. So you want to learn something and know a little bit more about the health and wellness industry this would be a great show and also just in general the fact that there's so many of these different remedies that doctors don't really promote but can actually help you a lot it's good to kind of educate yourself and learn about them so if you do have a problem that prescribed medication isn't fixing you know that there are natural remedies that are out there that is it for the top three shows from netflix in august now i'm going to be moving on to the top three movies so these were movies that I watched throughout August and that I liked the best. I actually watched tons of movies this August. I probably watched like 20 movies. So the fact that these three are at the top of my list means they're pretty good. So if you are looking for some new movies to watch that you can find on Netflix right now, these are the three that I recommend the most. So the first movie is Breaking In. 
I actually saw this movie in theater when it first came out, so I didn't watch it on Netflix, but when I saw that it was on Netflix, I had to rewatch it because I just really love it. It's one of those kind of thriller action type movies where you're kind of jumping all over the place, you don't really know what to expect. I recommend watching this one in the dark. It is a breaking in movie, so if you're too much of a scaredy cat for that or if you live home alone, maybe not watch it in the dark, but in the dark it is so much better. It's basically about this woman whose father died and he was kind of a rich, secretive kind of guy, so she goes to his house that he used to live in and it's a very expensive luxurious house and in it she finds all these different kind of security measures that aren't normal like there's walls that come down to cover every window in the house and there's a really high-tech alarm system and she doesn't really know why there's all this kind of security because it is a little bit unusual but he was rich so she just kind of goes with it until all of a sudden a group of men are trying to break into this house she has no idea why because she just moved there with her two kids so the entire movie is her trying to save herself and her kids from this break-in, which again, she doesn't even know why it's happening. So throughout the movie, there's a lot of action of her trying to keep them out, them trying to get in, and her figuring out all the secrets her dad's kind of been hiding and why these men are there in the first place. The next movie is the best. I love this movie. When I saw this movie was on Netflix, I was like, yes. <laughs> like, I've watched this movie so many times. It is We're the Millers. If you have not seen this movie, I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know if you're sleeping under a rock like Patrick from SpongeBob. I don't know what's going on. But We're the Millers is the funniest movie, hands down, the funniest movie I have ever seen. And it, I'm not the kind of person that easily laughs. Like, there's comedies out there that I just sit and watch it. I'm not really laughing. I'll smirk. But to actually get me laughing out loud takes a lot. And this movie, every scene was hilarious. Like, I can't even tell you. Even talking about it, I want to go watch it. That's how good it is. Trust me, if you love comedies, this is the one. It has Jennifer Aniston, Jason Sudeikis, and Emma Roberts. And that guy who, I don't even know his name, but he's in the Maze Runner. And he was on a bunch of Disney shows and he was in Narnia, so the cast is pretty well-rounded and pretty popular, and they're hilarious. Together, it's like the perfect mesh. Basically what it is, if you haven't seen it, is this guy is trying to smuggle some drugs from Mexico, and to kind of cover up his plan so he doesn't get caught, he creates this fake family with three strangers, basically, and along the way, some really weird things happen, funny things happen. They even meet another family that's taking an RV trip who don't know that they're a fake family, and it's just the whole dynamic is hilarious. Even if you're not a comedy person like me, this movie is hilarious and so entertaining, so this is a must-watch. And last but not least, the final movie that I think is the best to have come out on Netflix in August is Project Power. This one is with Jamie Foxx and it's basically about an ex-soldier who's played by Jamie Foxx, a teenage dealer and a local cop are basically trying to find out who the source is of these pills that basically give people superpowers for five minutes. So when you take this pill you get superpowers for five minutes and they're trying to figure out where the heck this pill came from and overall the movie itself is really action-packed. It's a really good movie for just sitting back, relaxing, and getting entertained. The actual storyline and concept is I think really clever and really good. It kind of brings in that superhero aspect while also maintaining the kind of action and crime side of the movie so it blends genres really well so if you're into action or crime this would be a really good movie for you and it's kind of a unique concept i haven't seen a movie like this one and i really enjoyed it so if you're looking for a really fun movie to just sit back relax chill and not have to think too much this is a good one so those were the top three shows and movies that I loved from Netflix in August. They're all available on Netflix right now. If you're a binge watcher and you love to watch shows, you love to watch movies, or you're just looking for that one-off show or one-off movie that you'd really like to start, I think there's something for everybody in this list. There's all sorts of genres, and again, I am an avid Netflix watcher, so I wouldn't be telling you guys these are good shows and movies if they weren't. So make sure to check these out if you're looking for something new. Comment down below and let me know which one you check out, whether it's a movie or a show, and if there's any that I missed from August that you think should be on the list, comment those down below too. And I know sometimes I struggle with finding a new show or movie to watch because I've seen so many, so if you're like me, hopefully these recommendations will help you out so you have some to watch now and if you missed my other video from July where I talked about the best shows and movies on Netflix for that month I also included some August recommendations that I didn't talk about today 
in that video as well. So if you want to check that out, make sure to check that out too. I'll link it down below. But thanks for watching. I hope you found something that you liked. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell. And of course, subscribe for more lifestyle videos. See you guys next time. Bye.